Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today we're going to be changing out a broken double switch in a bathroom. I'm doing a house renovation, and this is what the bathroom looks like right now. We've uh, changed out the floor, and this double switch goes to this vanity light right here, the light's on, and to this fan. The lower switch here goes to the fan and the upper one goes to the vanity light. Apparently the guy that was here before uh, broke this switch off right here, just got real mad or something and hit it with a hammer. I don't know what he did, but he broke the switch here. And so now I'm going to replace it. And I'll show you how to do it. So I'm gonna use my voltage sensor to find out what's going on here. And let's try this terminal over here. This terminal right here has what we call a line wire going to it. That's the one that's hot all the time. Because no matter what I do, it stays hot. Now this terminal over here will turn off if the switch is turned off. And this terminal right here will turn off if the switch is turned off. And this terminal right here will turn off if the switch is turned off. So what we really know is that the line wire goes right here and the other wires are load wires. We'll just have to see how it's wired uh, when we get it off. But this is our line wire right here. Now we've turned off the circuit breaker and let's double check to make sure that none of the wires are hot and we're good to go. So let's take off the double switch. And here we go right here. So we know that this upper wire on this side is the line wire. One of the problems here is that these brass colored terminals are reserved for the load wires. Generally, the upper brass colored terminal would be for your light and the lower brass colored terminal would be for your fan. At least that's the way I set them up. But one of the problems here is that the line wire, that is the hot wire, is going to a load terminal. So this is miswired. And a lot of times people tell you, well, if you're gonna replace a device, just make sure you put all the wires back where they were on the previous device. And that's got a bunch of problems. One thing, your previous device, as in this case, might be miswired. Another problem would be that even though electrical devices are always clearly marked, sometimes the layout of the terminals is different from brand to brand and so forth. And so that might cause confusion, especially in a beginner electrician. And on the opposite side, we have black terminals. And these black terminals are marked common. And that's where your line wire goes. Your hot wire goes to one of these two black terminals. You see there's a brass colored connector between them. And so if you just run your hot wire to one of these terminals, it will heat up both of the parts of the switch. So that will bring power to both the light and the fan, and then the switches will provide switched power to the light and fan. Now that I have this out, I'm gonna double check everything. Go back in here and double check everything and make sure that nothing's hot. With the circuit breaker off, I have cleaned up the box with a vacuum and I've gone over these wires, I taped them up some with, with some electrical tape and I have some electrical tape on the ends of each one for safety. And now I've turned the circuit breaker back on and I'm going to do a test to find out which one is our line wire. We already checked out is this one, I'm kind of double checking. So this is our line wire. So I'm gonna put a piece of blue tape on this. And I have another problem in that this wire is very short. I may have to extend it 
which isn't going to be a problem, and I may be able to use it. We'll, we'll just have to see. So these are the two load wires right here, and this is the line wire. Now with the circuit breaker on, and I have my red lead of my meter hooked to the hot wire, the line wire. And the other two are capped off uh, for safety with, with some electrical tape. And I'm going to take my black lead, and I'm going to put it to the metal box. And there you go, you got 118 volts AC. So what that tells us is that we have a ground back here. This is a return path to the panel. Okay, 118 volts AC. So I am going to go ahead and ground this switch. What it is, there's a, a little ground wire in the wall that goes to the back of the switch, and it is a ground wire. It's not up to code, you know, to today's code because it's a little smaller diameter, but it's a ground wire. This is a 1032 impact rated tap, which I have hooked up to my impact driver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap a hole. So I used a 1032 tap to get a threaded hole back here. Okay, so we have a ground wire now for our switch. Here's our new Leviton double switch. It is specification grade, and this is where the ground wire goes right here. So we'll put that on in a clockwise manner. And we'll tighten it on securely. Now do you see this side with the two black terminals? This is your common terminal and you see there's a, a brass connector right here. If this connector is in place, we only need to bring one hot wire to one of these terminals. It will heat up both sides, both switches will receive electrical energy if we just hook up to one of these terminals. It doesn't matter which terminal you hook to. This is our line wire. I've marked it with blue tape. It's very short. I'm going to save that for last. I'm going to see if I can do it without putting an extension on it. If we turn these around, we have two terminals here. And I would like the light that goes to the vanity to be the top one and the fan to be the bottom one. We have ground right here, which we hooked up, and this is hot, this one right here that's hot, and this one is going to be light, and this one will be fan. This wire goes to the light, this wire goes to the fan, so if we turn over here, you see, we want the upper switch, which is this one, to go to the light, so that'll be this one, and the lower switch, which is this one, will be hooked up to this wire right here. So this wire that goes to the fan is going to go to this brass colored terminal right here. So put it around the terminal in a clockwise manner and we'll tighten it down securely. Now this is the wire that goes to the light. That'd be the upper terminal, the upper switch. So we're going to turn it, put it around the brass colored terminal. So we have this wire that goes to the light going to the upper brass colored terminal. This wire which goes to the fan going to the lower brass colored terminal. Okay, now I'm going to be hooking up the hot wire. So we'll put that around one of the black common terminals and tighten it down securely. So we have our ground wire tightened down right here very nicely. We have our hot wire going to one of these black common terminals connected by this connector and that will give electrical energy to both devices, the light and the fan. And then over here we have the wire that goes to the fan on the bottom, the wire that goes to the light on the top. So now I'm going to take some black electrical tape and go around the terminals a couple of times. Now we're going to put our double switch 
in the box and we're going to tighten it down. Okay, so now I'm going to go turn on the circuit breaker and see how we did. I've turned on the circuit breaker and the top switch should go to the light. And it does. And the bottom switch should go to the fan. With the switch on, the fan isn't working. But you can see it is getting electricity. So, we're good. We just need a new fan. Since we're going to be painting shortly, I'm not going to put the cover on the double switch. I'm just going to put a little blue painter's tape. And there you go. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke Volte Sensor, the Fluke 117 Electrician's Meter, and the Kinepex Electrical Installation Pliers. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of House Renovation Time.